day 13 fruit now I know we're gonna be doing other fruit um, later on in our doodling calendar so I've decided to attempt a banana now the bananas are a work in progress and I really don't even know how to sh explain the shape because they're extremely organic because they are created by the earth but I'm gonna try my best because we all know what a banana looks like so I'm gonna start with a small tiny circle this is like the part that breaks off the group of bananas then two lines coming down that kind of like a cylinder shape then I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna curve it up and then the bottom one bring them close to the end and then another little square but I'm gonna color that one in because it's the end of our banana and then bananas um, have different edges so I'm kind of drawing them faintly and then I'm gonna do some shading with my thinnest banana or pit not banana pen because this end is more light I want to show this end has a little more shading to it which just means darker so I'm just adding tiny lines to give the effect okay I'm gonna color this top in technically so banana let's try a pear and pears I'm gonna do it with my pencil real quick I'm gonna give you a little trick pears are two shapes We have our top, and then we have our bottom. It's so like an oval this way. Well, that one's a little too, uh oh. My eraser does not want to erase. This one's smaller. So technically it's an oval, an oval. And then you would take those two shapes create the outline of your pear then run out a little stem and maybe a leaf I'm gonna add my little shading to make it look like this side is the more curved I don't even know what a pear leaf looks like. We don't grow pears. I wish. So then you would erase those pencil lines. And ta-da! You have a pear. So fruit, there's two pieces of fruit. You can add more fruit on your own. Again, I don't want to do an apple and an orange because we're going to be doing those separately on a later date. So this was day... 13 fruit.